Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right, so as you guys probably saw in the intro there, we're putting down some Acelebrin GR today to prevent those nasty bugs smashing this lawn in the middle of summer. So now's the time to get down, if not a couple of weeks ago. You're still gonna be fine if you get down now, but the reason we wanna get down is because African black beetle are basically starting to lay their eggs right now, which then the eggs hatch and their larvae will start eating the roots of your turf and absolutely smashing it. Now, if you're not really looking after your lawn, you're not watering it, it's not healthy, you're probably not gonna get smashed by the black beetle, but as soon as you start looking after your turf, you'll find that they'll seek out your lawn, which is not ideal. I had it for a couple of years here in a row because I forgot to put a preventative out. The following year I put down some imidacloprid and I was pretty good. Still had a little couple sneak through and I had to hit that with some bifenthrin, but I was pretty sweet. That's back when I had some tall fescue. Um, but yeah, the old Acelaprin. I used it last year, the GR, which is the granule version, um, which is great because it's a little bit cheaper and it's a really, really safe product. Um, and it covered me for six months and I dead said had no issues in my lawn at all which is good and last year was pretty bad for it as well because it was such a dry season. They seemed to go nuts if there was areas that were getting irrigated. Right, so this is the bag here. So it is a 10 kilo bag. You can get this on my website and get it from other companies as well. Most guys that sell lawn products are gonna be able to sell you some Acelaprin GR. Um, yeah, and this, this actually only came out last year, the granular version in Australia. I should tap it like again. Yeah, myself. <laughs> As you can see on the label, it says, for control of African black beetle, Argentine stem weevil, Argentinian scarab, um, bill bug, and other insects in your turf as well. So something that's really common to use this for is if you get army worm really bad, um, not a bad idea to put this down when you get the army worm. So I just keep getting distracted by myself tapping the bag gotta stop doing that but what I was trying to say was basically with this product here I'm gonna apply this today and water it in because I'm gonna to try to get it to activate down the soil and in the thatch layer and it's gonna sit there for six months if you had a problem with army worm um, which is a caterpillar which you normally see more towards the warm months of the year you can put it down as a knockdown as well which means you put it down don't water it for 24 hours and it will smash that army worm on top of that as well now army worm it's sort of like a greeny, greeny sort of a colour. I'll put a picture up on the screen here for you guys, but it's also great to help you out with knocking down those bad boys as well. And believe it or not, I've seen army worm in her... It's, wow. I've seen army worm here before, but it's not really a huge issue here in Orange. Um, there was a huge outbreak in Queensland last year and in warmer climates. So yeah, something to definitely be aware of. That's not the only thing that's gonna stop army worm, but if you've got it as your preventative, it's also gonna work as a knockdown as well. So they've got the label on the back of this bag. Heaps of handy info here. Tells you how to basically put it down, what rate to put it down at. Now today we're probably gonna put it at about one kilo per 100 square meters. So we'll use about four kilos here um, today. The highest rate you can go, this is 1.5. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go like a mid rate with it here. It basically says to apply it mid September. So we're a little bit, little bit late, but that's okay. Well, it, it technically, end of September, today's the 30th, so a little bit late. But we're still gonna be okay because they're still in the first and second instar, those dirty little black beetles. But yeah, if you wanna know any info on this insecticide, it's all here on the back for you. Right there, on the back of the bag. You don't even have to open up a little leaflet. Um, but yeah, very safe stuff as well, as I said, for your kids, your pets. Um, you can even touch this with your hands and you're going to be fine. Um, if you look at the PPE section of this label, so very, very safe insecticide, which is why I'm a big fan of it. And it's gonna be safe with your bees and stuff as well. Anyway, let's apply it now. So I'm gonna put it down with my um, broadcast spreader just here. You could use a hand spreader. Um, I probably wouldn't put it out by hand just cause you wanna do a nice even application. So we'll measure it four kilos for my whole area. Um, and then yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about um, what to do afterwards with it as well. like a dinner boy rain is coming in right now so perfect all right so the rain is just coming in now so you want to get six mil of irrigation down with this stuff um, if you think you've got some army worm or something it's fine to leave for 24 hours um, just make sure you water it in before you do your next mow so you can leave it on for one two days 
not too bad, but I recommend if you can, put some water down afterwards if you didn't have that issue with the army worm. Um, yeah, perfect man, so good. That's never happened for me before. I put something out and then it starts raining straight after I finish. Mm. So, awesome thing about this bag is it is resealable. Make sure you do reseal it and put it on the shelf or something. Don't leave it on the concrete because some moisture will get in there and basically won't be able to use the product once that's happened. So put it on a shelf and you will be sweet man. All right, well, that's about it for this video. Um, remember, there is other insecticides on the market. Um, there is Meridian, there is Midicloprid, Whoa, what's the other one? There's a couple of other preventatives out there. Um, but yeah, there is other ways to prevent grubs getting in your lawn. The reason I'm a fan of that is just because it's the safest um, and you get that six month control as well. And it's gonna be safe for your bees. Um, it's just overall a safer product, especially when you've got kids. I've got three young kids, so you know, you always gotta be cautious of those things, especially when you've got pets as well. Um, but anyway, gonna wrap the video up there. I'll make sure I show you guys an update vid of this green towards the end of the week. The fringe is like stupid long. <laughs> I haven't mowed it in a while. Check this. I don't think my lawn has ever been that long to that knuckle just there. <laughs> Funniest thing yesterday, my, my eldest son said, Dad, did someone give you that grass? And I said, why do you say that, buddy? He said, because it's really long. And I was like, <laughs> goes to show I need to give it a cut. Funny little man. Um, I'll do an update on that towards the end of the week, but um, thanks guys so much for watching really really do appreciate it Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like this video if you enjoyed it or you learned something new You guys have a good rest of your week. Oh also not sure if you guys noticed in this video But I got to send some Primo Max from some Genta new one liter products just here um, So I'm gonna do a giveaway I give two of these away online so Make sure you keep an eye out for an online live stream and I'm gonna give two of those away and send them out to you guys. There's a boom in here Hey! Anyway, <laughs> see ya.